Thanks, Susan. Uh, thanks, everyone, for this great panel. I wanted to, um, since I'm closing out the last day of the first part of the conference, to thank uh, everyone here, my colleagues at the University of Michigan for participating and for hosting uh, all of the speakers and doing such a great job with the technology. Um, as the director of the International Institute with which the African Studies Center is affiliated, I'm really gratified to see this remarkable collection of scholars, of policymakers, of leaders in other fields discussing the opportunities and challenges of education, technology, public health in Africa. I was also uh, the director of the Lieberthal Rogel Center for Chinese Studies for many years. And I'm, I'm also very interested as a scholar of China um, in how China's domestic transformation is expanding its global footprint and particularly its large and, and growing presence uh, in Africa. Uh, the International Institute, of course, is the overarching unit that binds together um, these different centers with their area studies focuses. Um, but I hope that the II can do more to bridge the gap between centers uh, to facilitate more cross-regional and cross-center collaboration. We also have thousands of Chinese students and scholars on U of M's campus, and we can play a really important role, not just in educating uh, our US students, our domestic students, but international students uh, to be leaders in all of these fields. We've already partnered with the Ford School of Public Policy and the Department of Afro-American and African Studies, as well as the um, African Studies Center to launch workshops on China, Africa and on China's growing role in international development. So I'm hoping that that will be something that we will continue to foster in the future. I have a couple of notes about the coming days with the co-located workshops. Um, most importantly, they are beginning at 8 a.m. instead of 8.30, so 8 a.m. Eastern Standard. These workshops will include uh, Africa, U.S. STEM collaborations, the business of healthcare in Africa, war dramas in cross-cultural contexts, data science for better health in Africa, and COVID-19 countering uh, disinformation. Thursday will also feature a special discussion on the challenges associated with distributing the COVID-19 vaccines in Africa. The conversation will be with Drs. Tachi Yamada, Paul Farmer, and Sanait Faseya, who are all good friends to U of M and to the newly established Center for Global Health Equity. To mark the last day of the main conference, I'd like to thank everyone who participated and who helped to organize. It was a really remarkable convening power of a university like Michigan to bring together this group, alumni, friends, faculty, students, and partners from across the globe and in particular Africa for a series of important conversations. We look forward to watching many of the ideas that were discussed and shaped this week take flight in the months and years ahead. And we particularly encourage people who are not at Michigan um, to continue to stay connected. We are a better community and a more impactful university because you contribute your ideas and enthusiasm to our campus. We encourage you to support our students, our faculty, our staff, and our programs, and particularly the, the UMAPS uh, program, the U of M Africa Presidential Scholars Program, and all the good work that it does. Please visit our website for more information about the coming days in the conference and again, starting tomorrow morning at 8am. Thank you so much.